Hello everyone and welcome to another English with Joseph. Well, today I want to talk to you about something a little bit different. Yes, it's something from British history, but it's something kind of unusual. Mm. Let me show you. This is a radio. Now, this is kind of an unusual radio. And it's kind of an unusual radio because, as you can see, it's got more bits on it than other radios. Or maybe you have seen a radio like this before. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, I want to talk to you about radio because radio is one of my hobbies, one of my pastimes. Now, I know that we're living with the internet so we can effectively listen to any radio station we want. And, as I told you the other day, we can even watch any TV channel we want. You can watch any UK channel on filmon.com. You can watch any uh, other channel from around the world if you have the appropriate VPNs or technology and you know how to do it. And you can listen to any radio channel via TuneIn. TuneIn is the one I use to listen to radio. But you know, in the days before the internet, people like me used to love radio. And on old radios like this one, you can see it says up here SW. And that means shortwave. The radio bands were marked into different categories. We have short wave, we have long wave, and we have medium wave, which is sometimes called AM. More and more broadcasters are abandoning radio, traditional radio, so that they broadcast only on the internet. One example of this happened at New Year, when Germany and France both made decisions to close down mostly all of their AM stations and they switched off a very famous and very old transmitter which has been there for many many years and for people like me it's very good because when I listen to AM now I can hear many stations that I couldn't hear before and the bands are beginning to very slowly disappear and empty, which means that many illegal, clandestine, or perhaps other people who are trying to broadcast things between themselves have more freedom to use these bands. Did you know that every country in the world has an international radio station? Even your country. I come from the UK we have the BBC World Service. France has Radio France Internationale. Sweden has Radio Sweden International. Holland, the Netherlands, had Radio Netherlands International. Russia had Radio Moscow, which became the voice of Russia, which is now, I think, Sputnik radio I think or something like this but more and more of these shortwave broadcasters because the international broadcasters always used shortwave more and more of these are closing down and it's really sad because a hobby that I loved was to take my radio at night and move the band but of course now my hobby is going from web page to web page. No, so I don't use this very often. But I sometimes like still to listen to all these radio stations on the internet because now I can podcast them. Mm. But the problem is the quality is not really there. All of these international radio stations were funded by the governments of other countries to broadcast sometimes propaganda, 
but sometimes they acted like ambassadors to bring you news of that country. The BBC World Service, because it was the BBC, always gave news from around the world. But most countries were very specific and local. They broadcast their details, but they broadcast them with local news. One of my favorite radio stations from the 1980s was Radio Nederland Verdomrup. This was the Dutch international broadcaster. And they decided to shut down shortwave operations mm, four or five years ago. And it was very sad because they shut down their shortwave operation, but they also shut down their complete English language service and all external services. So I can't listen to them on the internet because they don't exist. And they don't really have any English speaking platform. In the old days, all of these broadcasters would usually broadcast for half an hour or one hour every day in English. Then each one would broadcast in different languages. Let me give you an example. Radio Netherlands. It had one hour of English every day. It had one hour of French every day. It had one hour of Arabic every day. It had one hour of every language every day. So you see, it employed people who could speak many languages. And one of my favorite hosts from Radio Netherlands was Tom Mayer. He did the Spanish program and the English program on Radio Netherlands on Sunday, which was called the Happy Station Show. The Happy Station Show is the longest running radio program in history and it's still going even though Radio Netherlands is no longer there somebody in Taiwan picked it up and now continues with it and Tom Meyer's still around as well he often appears on that show the happy station show you can hear um, from Taiwan on PCJ Media PCJ Media it's very nice, and I'd recommend that you listen to it. It's a mixture of music, cabaret, and interviews. In the old days, they used to do all of these shows live. There was always listeners' requests and people saying happy birthday. And I remember I got some pen friends through the Happy Station show. But I don't think they do that anymore. Anyway, every broadcaster would broadcast for maybe half an hour or one hour on different uh, bands at different times using different languages because they used a technology which involved a big transmitter and at different times of the day and night because the earth is always rotating they had to change the bands and internationally the telecommunications union had allocated the bands which had to be used so my point is this hobby is still a very, very popular hobby today. And me, I have my radio. Me, myself, I have my radio. And I also have another radio, which is a digital one. I can show you. You can see there. It tells me that right now I'm on shortwave on this frequency yeah you can see that mm, very good very good well it has a big big aerial on the top which is so big and I also have a way I can connect external aerials to it as well so this is my my popular radio and it's a very old radio now so the next question is, well, how do you know which stations are broadcasting and when, and why do you still want to listen to them? Well, you know, many governments in the world still use shortwave as their preferred way of communicating. If you look at a country like Iran, for example, or North Korea, the shortwave service is there 
external service and they're not always available on the internet but they prefer to broadcast using shortwave and it's very interesting because their programs are very interesting another one which is very interesting and is still broadcasting although I'm not sure it's still on shortwave but it's certainly podcasting on the internet is Radio Damascus from Syria now I haven't heard that for a while but their English language service used to be very very good but with the problems and uh, the world is changing with terrorism and violence I don't know if that station is still broadcasting or if it's been stopped mm, I don't know I need to find out so it's like a window into another world and some people rely heavily on this window to learn more about the countries especially in places like Iran, the Middle East, etc. I remember many years ago I went to Oman and I was very fortunate enough to see or to drive past the radio station where Omani radio comes from. I think it's called Radio Oman or Radio Muscat. I don't remember exactly. And they're still broadcasting today. In fact, the Arabs regularly use shortwave to broadcast the Quran. Shortwave is also very popular around the world to broadcast locally, not just internationally. In South America, for example, many people have shortwave radios, not because they want to listen to other countries around the world, but only because their local radio station broadcasts on shortwave on some of the lower bands. Well, that's my little history of radio for you. If you want to know more, you can write and you can ask me and I'll give you more information. There's a weekly podcast from Glenn Hauser, which is called The World of Radio. And he tells you what's broadcasting on what frequencies. He's a very nice man. and He's been doing that podcast since the days that shortwave radio was very popular. So, if you get the chance, podcast Glenn Hauser's World of Radio and you can hear him saying what's on each band. And you know, these bands can become very political. For example, religious broadcasters use these bands a lot. And some of them, between the Catholics and the Evangelicals, might try to overlap each other to block their signals. North Korea might try to jam or send a signal to certain frequencies which means that other countries can't broadcast on the frequency that they wanted. For example, politically, if you think of China and Korea, regularly their programs are jammed by other countries who don't like them to stop them broadcasting. Mm. So it's still a very political game. I don't think there's any live broadcasts left, but if you listen to Glenn Hauser's World of Radio, he can give you an update on what happens. Okay, well, that's my little story about radio. Now, let's look at a few of the words we spoke about today. One, of course, is radio. And what people do with radio is they listen. They listen. Another uh, word that we used is transmit. Well, we listen to something that comes to us. And if someone is sending something to us on a radio, it's called a transmission. They transmit a broadcast using a transmitter and we hear it. We spoke about medium wave, short wave, long wave. Medium wave is sometimes called AM. These are technical terms. I'm sure there are acronyms for something, but I don't know what they are. At least I don't remember what they are. I should, shouldn't I? Okay, so what other words did we use today? Well, we spoke about how these, um, many of these countries used broadcasting internationally. Well, I'm sure you know what internationally means. We spoke about podcasting, which is where you can 
use your internet connection to download radio programs, podcasting. Okay, well, that's all I want to say today. So I wish you a very good day. Thank you and goodbye.